When I was 20, um, I was pregnant with my son and I had a deep vein thrombosis. And then I got another one just after he was born. Um, and then a few years following that, um, I had a knock to the ankle, which became a leg ulcer. Um, that one healed within about 12 weeks, um, but unfortunately a few years later it came back and that one's been there sort of overall about 15 years now. Sort of, um, It's healed a few times, but mainly it's been open that whole time. So we run a local vascular clinic um, and we tend to get referred to as the patients that are failing to heal in community. These patients can be failing to heal for a number of causes. There is a lot of unwanted variation out there, so patients aren't getting assessed as they should, they're not getting treatments as they should, and eventually these wounds become chronic and end up on our doorstep. We've tried everything, um, loads of different dressings, loads of different ointments, we've used things that for negative pressure, we've used, um, I've had a, a vein bypass, um, so surgery, we've tried different skin grafts, um, just millions of things. I've never heard of Epifix before until Tracy presented um, and then we got this random email advising us to see if Epifix would help to get uh, Tracy moving towards healing. Uh, you must remember um, I'm quite a well-known clinician across the UK. I can count 20-30 times the amount of, of representations from a company that's come to us to help Tracy. It um, affects my confidence because of the way that I look and the way that I can't wear certain clothes, shoes, uh, it affects what I can do. Um, when it was really bad with the pain and the sleep deprivation and everything, I couldn't work. Um, it was hard even to look after my children. At one point I couldn't even get upstairs, so I had to sleep downstairs for about 18 months because the pain was so bad. Um, thankfully now it's, it's much better. I was approached by uh, the manufacturer's Epifix. I was sceptical. So we read the research, looked at the literature, and there is some convincing evidence, especially coming from America. I must say, um, the most influential thing was meeting Bill, to talk to him about the real importance of debridement of the wound bed. This is something that the UK doesn't do, and he has completely and utterly changed my practice in terms of curetting the wound edges at every single opportunity. And we've seen that impact on Tracy alone with the advantage of Epifix, but we've also seen that advantage in other patients. So it's a great thank you for that education that you provided. But I must say that by just doing that with Tracy, I don't think would have made the difference that we've had because the wound bed itself has changed dramatically. It's been the first treatment that's actually seems to be working, first of all, for this amount of time. So it's been coming up four months um, that we've been using it now and it's halved in size which is great. Also the surrounding skin is much much better because there's nothing aggravating it. Um, the wound's not um, giving off a lot of exudate so it's um, it's not irritating my skin. Um, yeah so I'm thrilled to bits with it at the minute. And I just want to read you a few words that Tracy once said to me that I've never forgot. She said that this wound has made her upset about the life she could have had, the career she should have had for the person that she should have been. She always thought that she'd be somebody and achieve something, but she feels like that opportunity has been stolen away from her. She hates feeling self-conscious, disabled, unattractive, and she hates that the leg also has taken away her self-confidence. If anything we can do to stop that suffering for any of our patients, we have to embrace it, and Epifix is part of that journey. Of course, if I can get out and do things without being in pain, then I'm in obviously a better mood if I'm sleeping better then it makes you feel better in yourself, it makes you feel more healthy. I can concentrate on other things. Um, yeah, so great. It's, it's made me a lot more positive for the future.